Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your game go from this to this. In a few easy steps, it should take you no more than 10 minutes. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is pull up your Seto Corsa folder. Now if you don't know how to find this, I'm going to walk you through it real quick. Now pull up Steam and find a Seto Corsa. What you're going to do is come over here right click go down to manage and then go over to browse local files and that will bring you up to the window that you need you can now close steam because you don't need it now my discord server you will find my newest reshade settings and all that you're going to do is drag and drop that into there now this just makes it easier to apply it through reshade all right so now you could do is close this window and what you're going to do now is install the newest version of pure i will have the patreon where you need to buy this from to get it it is only a dollar i believe and all that you're going to do is open up the file that you've downloaded and you're going to take the folder called pure 0.165 drag it onto your desktop and then you're going to open the window now all that you have to do once you're here is click this now once you click this it's going to prompt you to find your Seto Corsa source folder how you're able to find that is by going to your Windows C drive is what it should be for you program files 86 going to steam steam apps common and then a Seto Corsa it will then prompt you to click any button and it will instantly install into the right place I'll also have a more detailed video by the creator of Pure on how to download it. All right, so what you're gonna do next is go over to settings, custom shaders patch, where it says controller script, you're gonna select Sol 2.4, and for weather strip, you're going to select pure. Then the next thing, copy all of the graphic settings. So there's all the settings over here and this bottom half down here. Up here, these are my personal settings. I choose like my frame rate limit, what screen I have it showed on, and a few other things. You guys don't need to copy that. And I wouldn't recommend you to copy that either. All right, now the next step is in game. So what you're gonna do is load into a quick session. I'd choose either practice or hot lap. You don't really wanna be in a race for this with a whole bunch of other cars all right so now that you're in game what you're going to do is click the home button on your keyboard or the reshade whatever button opens up your reshade overlay now i know on my last tutorial i didn't go over this so i'm going to go over it this time if you guys do not know how to change your reshade keybind what you do is load up this make sure that you already have reshade installed i'll have a link below a detailed installation guide that will help you install reshade to a set of Corsa. Now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you find reshade.ini, this folder right here. Now what you're going to do is open it up. All right guys, so now that you have the reshade.ini file open, what you're going to do is scroll down a little bit here to input, and you're gonna see where it says key overlay, and you're gonna go just this first set of numbers here. For me, it's 222. That equals the bracket key on my keyboard, which will pop up the overlay and will also close it. All right, so below I'll have a website link that tells you what number corresponds with what key. So for me, 221 is the bracket key on my keyboard. You guys can choose it differently. If you guys just want to do the bracket key on your keyboard, then you can just type in 221 right there. If you guys want it to be something different, then you can choose another key by using the website that I provided below. Now make sure to save that. You can close this up. Now open up your reshade overlay. And what you're going to do is come over here to the very top part, click on that, and you're going to scroll down until you find Biscuits Reshade V2. Select it, just click on it, and then click the select button. It will apply it in game. One quick thing to note is unless you are going to be filming a video, I would recommend having the perfect perspective filter off. As you can see when it's on, it warps everything on your screen, but it also warps apps just like this. And if you have an app in a corner, will be very distorted and if that is an interactive app where you're going to be clicking any buttons you won't be able to use that if you have the perfect perspective on so that is why i recommend only having it on if you're going to be recording a video or you're just going to do hot laps and you don't need to use any apps and one final thing if you guys want to change the weather while in game go over here to your sidebar click on the very very topmost button where it says all apps then go over here to filter on the very top and type in soul custom and you come down here to where it says soul planner it will open this window up you can select night day 
whatever, right? So it allows you to select the time of day. It also allows you to pick what type of weather you have. One thing I forgot to add while recording the video is that the post-processing filter that I use is Premiere, and I'll have that linked in the description. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you guys. I know that a few people have been requesting to have my graphic settings or my reshade, and I've decided to make an updated version that is more in-depth, and it tells you more about the process of how to get your game looking like this. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.